I'm going to Adelaide for four days and mixing a business day with a long weekend. Often one of the uh, hardest combinations to pack light for and I always pack light. Let's take a look at what I'm packing. G'day, welcome back to Bootlosophy, my channel reviewing boots and sometimes <laughs> weirdly boot related but non-boot things. If you're new here, my name is Tech. But first, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of Adelaide, but I'll let Qantas do it for us. Qantas would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the Air Force band, the Ghana people. We'd also like to pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. So I'm recording this in mid-December in both Adelaide and Perth, and I'm going to be splicing bits together to make the video. But you're not going to see this until mid-January, so it's that weird Doctor Who TARDIS effect of YouTube videos. But as it is, it is now mid-December and I am going to Adelaide before Christmas, flying across on a Wednesday night. Uh, and then on Thursday, I'm working with the executive team of an Indigenous NGO on uh, their strategy day. And on that night, my wife will fly in as well and then we'll spend Friday and Saturday doing uh, very touristy things in Adelaide before we fly home on Sunday morning. So. Uh, while I want to be casual for uh, my wife's and my uh, off days, I also need to wear something reasonably professional on the strategy day and I really like to travel light with only one bag. So what should I pack and how to get it in one carry bag? Let's go. So I always consider two things when I pack light. Number one, what's the weather going to be like? Uh, that's going to determine things like layers and other climate appropriate things. Number two is, what is the itinerary? I mean, if it's a beach holiday, for example, then board shorts and Hawaiian shirts may make an appearance, despite my wife's hatred of Hawaiian shirts. But if it's business appropriate, even if you're likely to go out at nights, that'll probably be with business colleagues. So uh, you won't want to go from, you know, smart casual in the, in the office to, dang, man, your shorts are so short, and what the hell are those things hanging out there? You get the picture. In my case, I have checked and the weather is going to be dry uh, and could range from the mid to low teens centigrade at nights to uh, low 2021 centigrade during the day, which to me, coming from the Mediterranean climate of Western Australia, is actually going to be quite cool. It's kind of like our um, uh, spring. And apart from the business day, I'll be staying at the Treasury Hotel on Queen Victoria Square or Tantanyanga in the local indigenous language. So, come and look over my shoulder at what I've chosen to pack. I'll put links below to various websites of notable items if you uh, want to look them up. First, the essentials. This is my toiletries bag. Um, as I say, I pack light. This is everything I need. It has a foldable toothbrush, a foldable razor. Um, I have uh, shaving cream in it, which, is, which comes in a tube, but I've squirted it into a, a little round container. Uh, just enough for the for the four days and what I do when I shave is I just scoop it out and sort of lather it on the palm of my hand. It also contains um, vitamin pills, contact lenses, deodorant, um, really all you need to live on. <laughs> so we start with that. Um, second of course because I'm going for work and I'll be doing some filming is my laptop which uh, I'll carry in this um, carry case um, I find this really quite useful because I can stuff this into the bag so I'm not carrying two pieces onto the plane. Um, and also when I go on my business day, when I'm attending the strategic workshop, I can simply carry this in my hand because it can also fit in the uh, adapter uh, and a notebook. And that will be extremely compact. For the rest of the uh, items that I'm taking as essentials, I'm taking my journal. I, that was a notebook that I use for work, and this is a journal that I uh, write in every morning as a kind of motivational tool. Um, I also find this very useful. It's, a, it's a, obviously an adapter with four USB PowerPoints and one uh, PowerPoint here. I find that when I'm traveling, particularly in hotels, I run out of wall, wall uh, uh, PowerPoints. So I plug this in and suddenly I've got 
I can charge four things plus power something else if I need to. And obviously, uh, I'll add to that um, a charger for my phone. Uh, and since I'm taking an iPad, I probably will take a second one as well. Uh, when I'm walking around, I will take a power pack with me, which I find really useful to, to have with me all the time. And because I'll be doing some filming, uh, I'll carry a selfie stick, usual stuff. I mean, you guys will know all this. And um, I won't take my uh, Lavalier mic, which is uh, on my waist. What I'll do is I'll take this one, which doesn't give as good sound. I think you might have heard it if you look at some of my videos and I'm wearing one of these. Um, but it is very portable, so I'll take that with me. And then part of the essentials is obviously underwear. It's not great to go commando, but I'm not going to show that to you. Um, I will bring three pairs of socks. And these are merino wool boot socks from a brand called Kathmandu in Australia. And I like them. They have a, they're marked left and right, by the way, with a central uh, line so that you know what's the center. <laughs> and the reason for that is because they have padded panels for the lace edgings, uh, for the back of the boots at different heights uh, and uh, padding on the ball of your feet. Now, I find these really useful. I'm only packing three. I'm actually wearing one and packing two because being merino, merino wool, they are antimicrobial. Uh, they don't smell. And if they do get a little bit damp, I just hang them up overnight and I can use them for a couple of days at least uh, before I swap them over. Then I'll usually work out my outfit starting with what I will wear on my feet. Now, let me predicate this by saying that my outfits are usually monochromatic or at least earth-toned or neutral, which makes it easy to start at my feet. Being a boot guy, <laughs> even for only four days, I'm going to take two pairs of boots, of course. I'm going to wear one pair and pack one. I'm going to choose boots uh, that are light, obviously, uh, broken in and comfortable. The worst mistake is to uh, pack a new pair of boots that might be uncomfortable. And I'm going to make sure that they're convenient for getting through airport security, which usually means fiberglass shanks. So as I said, I'll be taking two pairs of boots with me. I guess if you're not a boot head, you're not going to bother. You just take one. But it is nice, I think, to be able to swap over between boots uh, during the days because when you're traveling, you're probably wearing your boot uh, all day, which means that you might have you know, damp and sweaty insoles and, and boots and it'd be great to swap them over the next day. So I'm taking these two pairs of boots. Because I'm going uh, on that business strategy meeting, uh, I'm taking a pair of R.M. Williams Gardner boots. Now, in Australia, these are reasonably business casual. You can even wear them into boardrooms and so on, particularly the more uh, polished versions of the Comfort Craftsman. But these are very comfortable. Um, they're on a rubber sole and they have a, a a comfort rubber insert on the inside so you can stand up all day when I'm standing in front of the whiteboard facilitating their strategic day meeting. Uh, and also uh, walking around if we're going shopping with my wife, um, you know, I can just slip these off if I want to try on a new pair of pants or something. Um, and being uh, 270 degree Goodyear welted, they are actually extremely light. So that's an interesting thing. The second pair that I've chosen uh, are these Parkhurst Veg Retans. Now I chose these because of the color. I think it's a nice pop, particularly if I'm wearing uh, dark colors. I'll be uh, wearing monochromatic dark colors. And I think these will give a nice pop when I'm walking around. They're very sturdy walking boots. Uh, Parkhurst do this today on an Allen uh, pattern that's without a cap toe. This is the uh, Western New York factory production. Uh, it's a Richmond boot with a cap toe. It's on the 602 last, which is, I believe Andrew told me is like, the new 602M is like two millimeters wider in the ball of the foot, uh, and, and then proportionately. Um, and two millimeters is hardly a half a, a half a size up, which I think is about, it's about one centimeter. Um, so, you know, this is very similar to the Allen boot that you can get now. The uppers in this one is Seidel's uh, Veg Retan, uh, whereas the current one, I believe, is a Spanish, Spanish Veg Retan uh, uppers. Um, beautiful color. I mean, it doesn't show well in this light, but it's a nice poppy orange when you get it out in light. 
This is slightly heavier, I think because there's a, a more thicker leathers under the sole, um, plus it, the 360 degree Goodyear welt uh, uh, is just creates more weight. Uh, it has a fiberglass shank, the same as the RM Williams, so I can use either to walk through uh, security, but obviously the Chelsea boot pull-off is a lot better for security. So um, uh, because this is heavier, unfortunately, despite that being easier to get off at security, I'm going to rely on it being a fiberglass shank and I'm going to wear these and pack those because they're lighter. Having chosen my boots, I'm now going to choose uh, the bottom half of my outfits that I'm wearing and I'm choosing articles in colours that I like. Difficult to see in this light, I know, but that's a navy pair of chinos, uh, which will be I'm going to wear during the strategy day. Uh, very comfortable pair from a brand called Gazman in Australia. Basically just a high street uh, shopping centre brand, but I, I really like their products. Uh, nicely made. And this is the Proof uh, Rover EDC pant from Hutbury. And I'm going to wear this on the plane um, and I'll have it around for casual wear. Uh, and both the olive green and the blue, I think, will go with both pairs of boots. Um, and the reason I'm taking this rather than the pair of blue jeans is firstly the weight. It is a little bit lighter um, and a heavier denim, you know, just might not be comfortable. But the second thing is the EDC pant uh, has a huge number of pockets. There's a hidden pocket here, right next to the uh, uh, front pocket. Uh, there's a, like a tool pocket here. Um, there's a zip pocket down the leg. So really extremely useful for um, wearing on the plane. Uh, it's, it's also slightly stretchy, so quite comfortable on the plane. And as I say, it goes with uh, both pairs um, uh, of my boots. It also has this sort of fold in the, with the knee, which makes it very comfortable. So uh, based on the boots, which gives me the selection of my pants, uh, I will take with me two long sleeve shirts. The first one is a button up business shirt uh, from a brand called Charles Tirrett, which is an English brand. That will go quite well with the uh, dark navy pants for the strategy day. But also, if I just roll up the sleeves and wear it with a jacket or, uh, you know, something um, to, to sort of dress it down, I can wear this during nights when I'm going out with my wife for meals or going to the bar or whatever. And you'll see that it's also actually because it, the green and blue are in the same sort of earth uh, range of colours, they also go well together. The second shirt I'll bring along with me, and I did say I, I pack uh, monochromatically, is a faded blue Timberland shirt, long sleeve, two pockets. The dress shirt doesn't have any pockets to make it dressy. Uh, this would be useful on some of the cooler days because it's going to be like 18 or 19 degrees centigrade, which is actually quite cool for me. Um, and I can wear these open with a t-shirt underneath, or I can wear it on its own and a jacket on top. So there's a multiple sort of combination of things I can wear them with. And once again, um, they go with both these colors. And you can imagine they go also with the veg retan, like this, goes well with everything, or with the sort of dark chocolate kip leather RM Williams. So everything uh, matches and goes well accordingly. I will also bring with me two t-shirts because I'm not entirely sure uh, how long it's going to stay in the 2021s uh, and depending on how cool it is and the wind and so on I'm going to bring with me two merino t-shirts I'm probably going to wear this one from an Australian brand called Pear uh, it's an off-white merino wool you can't bleach wool so the best you can get is an off-white natural colour and I think that goes quite well uh, with both pairs of pants so if I'm not wearing a shirt I can just easily wear that uh, and uh, you know you can wear this under one of these shirts or on its own and the next one is a dark blue so again it goes with uh, the both pairs of pants uh, from Huckabry's Proof brand this is another merino wool uh, and um, really extremely comfortable it's slightly thinner than the Australian one. So on slightly warmer days, I'd be happy to wear this. 
uh, and maybe with a jacket in my, in my, in my pack, my day pack. Uh, as for the outside, I toyed with the idea of a light jacket, but I've decided to bring um, the Hutbury wax trucker jacket from Flint and Tinder. Uh, you'd have seen my review of this. Uh, I do like this jacket. It is warm because it's flannel lined, uh, but it's not, I don't think it'll be hot when it's 21 degrees. And for most of the day, building up to that high of 20, 21 degrees, it's probably going to be around 15 or 16. So I can go out with this and a t-shirt or one of the long sleeve shirts uh, and still feel reasonably comfortable. Uh, having said that it's going to be cool though, it is going to be dry and sunny apparently. So uh, we have a high UV uh, radiation content in Australia and I'm going to bring a hat as always. Uh, this is a hat that I bought uh, in Melbourne. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing this, I'm not going to wear this on the plane because, you know, you get knocked off, you stick it under the seat, it gets squashed. But I'm bringing this because it is a foldable hat. You can actually roll it up, put it in your bag, get to the other end, shake it out. And you're good to go. So that's it. Let's get to packing. First of all, what I'm wearing on the day, uh, the Parkhurst Veg Retan Richmond's that I told you about. I'll be wearing a uh, brown belt through the whole weekend. That goes with both the navy uh, pants as well as the olive, and it goes with both pairs of boots. Um, I'll be wearing the uh, pair off-white t-shirt um, underneath the wax truck jacket, which will keep me comfortable on the plane. And of course, uh, the merino socks, one pair of them to go with the boots, and the proof rover EDC pant to wear on the plane. As for the rest, I'm going to pack it into this cravat bag. And again, I've reviewed this bag. So this is um, a great time to show you how to use this small uh, day bag, they call it, into something that I can uh, stretch out for the weekend. I'm going to put at the bottom uh, my R.M. Williams boots on which I've stuffed with socks and underpants so they don't waste a lot of space. That'll take the bottom layer and um, I'm going to pack that with some of my uh, essentials kit. So that's my toiletries bag uh, and then some of my uh, electronics and so on including all the cables I need. I mean, I should be a lot neater, but I somehow that's not, apparently not in my DNA. I'm gonna leave this to a side one. Oh. My two shirts go into a packing cube. And yes, they will get slightly crushed, um, but you know, I will iron them. Most hotels will have an iron. And then uh, my pants and sundries. I'll put my journal in, power pack, uh, and my hat is in one of those, uh, and I'm not worried about it creasing by any means. So, you know, that what I just showed you that I would pack has gone in here very easily. And then my electronics should fit in the side within this laptop case, which is slightly bigger, but I think should be able to fit if at worst it doesn't fit, I'm going to carry it as a second item because I'll most likely, oh it does fit, I will most likely take it out anyway in the plane uh, to either do some work or um, watch movies. That was a snug fit but that, everything fits in there really well. Um, so there you go, all packed and ready to go. The first outfit is um, the Thursday outfit for my strategy day with my clients. So I'm wearing the navy blue chinos, a, uh, a dressy button down shirt, and I'll carry the wax trucker jacket with my laptop bag and hat. The next day, Friday, is a shopping day through Central Markets and Rundle Street Mall. And um, I wanted some comfortable clothing, so I wore the uh, RM Williams Chelsea boots, which are easy to pull on and uh, pull off if I'm doing any shopping for clothing. Uh, and I'm pairing that 
with the olive green uh, Rover EDC pant from Hugbury and uh, the Merino 72-hour shirt uh, T-shirt from Hugbury, as well as the Timberland uh, faded blue shirt, just as an overshirt with the sleeves rolled up. Uh, depending on how sunny it is, I may put my hat on and go out and in this way uh, feel really comfortable. And then Saturday was a purely uh, touristy day in North Terrace of Adelaide City, which is full of uh, cultural icons, uh, museums and art galleries. So I thought for that, um, some sturdy walking boots, the Parkhurst Richmond uh, work with the uh, EDC pant. Uh, I'm back to my blue button-down shirt. I've put the wax trucker jacket over it uh, because it's meant to be quite cool and I'll put my hat on against the sun. Okay, so I hope you like the video of my sojourn to uh, Adelaide in South Australia. Now, I know this is a bit not quite my video, but uh, somebody did ask me what I packed and how I packed. So all you need is one person to ask me and I'll do a video, right? But I, at least I did focus on uh, my two pairs of boots, the RM Williams uh, Gardener boot in their Kip leather and the Parkhurst uh, Richmond boot uh, in uh, Seidel's Natural Veg Retan. I hope you liked the video and if you did, please click on like and leave a comment behind and uh, tell me what you liked about it and whether you'd like to see another video. Um, otherwise, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you're here for the next video. Make sure you stay safe and I'll see you soon.